Acts 20, 1 through 16. Macedonia and Greece. With things back to normal, Paul called the disciples together and encouraged them to keep up the good work in Ephesus. Then, saying his goodbyes, he left for Macedonia, traveling through the country, passing from one gathering to another. He gave constant encouragement, lifting their spirits and charging them with fresh hope. Then he came to Greece and stayed on for three months. Just as he was about to sail for Syria, the Jews cooked up a plot against him. So he went the other way, by land back through Macedonia, and gave them the slip. His companions for the journey were Sopater, son of Pyrrhus, from Berea, Aristarchus and Secundus, both Thessalonians, Gaius from Derby, Timothy, and the two from Western Asia, Pichicus and Trophimus. They went on ahead and waited for us in Troas. Meanwhile, we stayed in Philippi for Passover week, and then set sail. Within five days we were again in Troas, and stayed a week. We met on Sunday to worship and celebrate the Master's Supper. Paul addressed the congregation. Our plan was to leave first thing in the morning, but Paul talked on, way past midnight. We were meeting in a well-lighted upper room. A young man named Eutychus was sitting in an open window. As Paul went on and on, Eutychus fell sound asleep and toppled out the third-story window. When they picked him up, he was dead. Paul went down, stretched himself on him, and hugged him hard. No more crying, he said. There's life in him yet. Then Paul got up and served the master's supper, and went on telling stories of the faith until dawn. On that note, they left. Paul going one way, the congregation another leading the boy off alive and full of life themselves. In the meantime, the rest of us had gone on ahead to the ship and sailed for Assos, where we planned to pick up Paul. Paul wanted to walk there, and so had made these arrangements earlier. Things went according to plan. We met him in Assos, took him on board, and sailed to Mytilene. The next day we put in opposite Chios. Samos a day later, and then Miletus. Paul had decided to bypass Ephesus so that he wouldn't be held up in Asia province. He was in a hurry to get to Jerusalem, in time for the Feast of Pentecost, if at all possible.